Hi everyone, so in today's video I am going to be um, cleaning this Kipo 55, it's the bandolier, it, the, it's the one that comes with a strap, so it look, it's looking so tired and dirty, so I am going to try and clean this off, It's this is already sold and normally before I sell them I clean them but this time I am... Um, so busy so what i've done was i have listed it and someone has bought it and now i am cleaning it because i've just realized i haven't got a cleaning video of how to clean your louis vuitton bag like with the canvas including the canvas so now i am going to start and clean it you need a normal baby wipes without alcohol so i'm gonna start wiping the um the vachetta leather so i'm just gonna wipe them off not putting any force to it just wipe it just because just so the dust can come off oh i forgot to show you how it looks actually did i oh yeah i did okay so it's got lots of watermarks so those watermarks we can't get rid of those watermarks anymore so what we are gonna do is just clean so as you can see, there's a little bit of brownish, like the Vachetta leather color. So for now, um, we are going to clean the canvas now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, two things on how to clean it if it's really um, dirty. So firstly, it's just by wet wipes. Just re keep repeating this and you will see it's got lots of dirt yeah so then I'm gonna move on to another one another pot really really dirty another thing I I do is uh, some soapy water so I've got here water and I'm just gonna put um, couple of drops of fairy liquid yeah so I've done that now and then I'm gonna soak my I'm gonna soak my white cloth in it just make it make sure it's uh, soaked and then make sure to dry it so this is now damp or a little bit wet wet cloth I just want to clean this um, so I'm gonna wipe it with this like this just say so smells good <laughs> there you go just like that so we want to avoid touching the vachetta leather because all we wanted was to wipe them off once and then when everything is finished we are gonna condition this so we don't want this soaking because they're gonna get watermark and then they're gonna get brittle so we've got lots of dirt in there another thing I want to show you is Okay, let's show you that I'm just gonna so you need to soak and rinse every time so I have here a I have here a an old toothbrush I uh, I have a saddle soap you can use any saddle soap okay so what I'm going I'm I'm using a Timson brand I've been using this for about six years now so I'm just gonna make a uh, spray one foam in there one spray or one yeah one spray so i want to just clean it like this in rotation circular motion yeah circular motion i've done this so many times and it's been one of the best one but it just it takes such a long time to clean so just quick there you don't want to soak the vachetta panel there right and then with your wet cloth of course not dripping wet wipe everything off 
and you can see ooh, how much dirt. There you go. So, what the brush is doing is lifting the dirt on the surface. Because as you can see, your vachette, your canvas, it's not flat, it's not smooth, it's got some texture. So that is another uh, way of doing it. So I've got, I've, I'm teaching you two ways on how to clean today. So I'm just going to carry on and clean this with wet wipes and then I'll be back. So we are now done cleaning the canvas. What we want to do now is to let it dry. So um, I haven't got time to dry it. I want to continue cleaning it. So we are going to do, do the rivets now. So this rivets, you need something like this or toothpick. Okay. And then get your wet wipes. Roll this in the wet wipe. And then there you go this one just turn it round like this no not clean it that around the rivet like that look see see this so just repeat the process on all four rivets oh that's another one here as well Look at that, how much. There you go. So you can um, polish this with any polishing metal. You can polish this as well. Uh, I think I'm gonna get that so before I go and polish these you have to get yourself a Vaseline this Vaseline is really good for the zipper so we are gonna apply on the zipper so here the inside you want to apply it on one each so if you have two zipper you apply it on on the inside okay so what you need to do next is just uh, go um, close open the zipper like that. There you go. It's nice and smooth now. And the other side. But make sure the Vaseline, you don't touch the uh, vachetta leather, okay? Because it's going to stain it. It's, it's oil. There you go. So that's the cheaper way of uh, doing your uh, zipper. So get yourself a brasso or any polishing metal. And then I have this little brush. I am going to apply on here. Just like that. So you need to wait for this for about one minute and then polish. So for example, like that. And polish it with your clean cloth, white cloth.
So that is the tarnishing. So you can repeat doing this until you got your desired outcome. So at the moment they are a little bit shiny. So now when everything is done and it's dry, all you wanted to do is um, you want to condition the vachetta, okay? So I've got here leather conditioner. So you want to condition the leather, the vachetta leather, just like that. Don't make it soaking, like don't soak it, because if you did, if you did, it's uh, it's not good. It's gonna get mark or it's gonna get, it's it's gonna get too much mark. That's what I'm going to say. Just a little bit is enough. A little goes a long way. So when you are done, um, when you are done uh, conditioning them, buff it so that you get the shine and the sheen. So we are done. So now it's much cleaner. It looks uh, the monogram canvas. The print looks much brighter than before. It's now nice and clean, ready to go to its new owner. Thank you for watching.